This is lesson five, incoming surveillance of Bitcoin. And in this lesson, we take a look at the potential of Bitcoin to be used as a surveillance outlet, which comes with convenience and usability, but at the cost of personal privacy. Let's begin. The current state of the World Wide Web is one in which it was originally seen as a tool of expression but has also come with the vulnerability of being a perfect outlet for surveillance. When the World Wide Web was initially implemented, it used IP addresses as the uniform resource locator for servers. Eventually, we moved to a domain naming system that gave it more convenience and more usability, but also came with potential for sur increased surveillance. And in much the same way, that we moved from IP addresses to a domain naming system, is it possible in the near future we'll see Bitcoin implement sort of username system or pseudonyms to designate Bitcoin wallet addresses instead of their public key addresses. In doing so, it would increase the usability and convenience of Bitcoin, but perhaps compromise personal privacy. The principle of privacy is a non-negotiable human right, and it is important to identify matters of national security, but having the right to privacy is more valuable than destroying both privacy and the potential to do harm for the false promise of security. No one in this world can promise you security, but you can uphold your inalienable right to personal privacy. In relation to Bitcoin, the fact that it is digital is precisely why it will lead to an increase in the surveillance of payments. When we come to understand Bitcoin, we see that every transaction that's made is stored in the blockchain as completely transparent plain text. And this comes with an incredible opportunity or vulnerability, depending on how you look at it, for surveillance and data mining. Although the Bitcoin public ledger of transactions carries with it the potential to be used anonymously, most people do not and will not use it this way. And this brings us to the question, do you browse the World Wide Web privately? Do you search privately? Do you share media privately? And almost uniformly, the answer is no, because we've come to the whim of convenience and usability while compromising personal privacy. Is it possible that Bitcoin follows the same trajectory? We certainly think it is. Now, the surveillance of something like the Bitcoin network definitely comes with challenges, but it may come with opportunities as well, and one of such is as a crime enforcement tool. Amateur nation states of today disallow online communications and rule the use of Bitcoin as illegal. However, the superpowers use these technologies as a kind of law enforcement tool. The superpowers of law enforcement use technologies such as social media as a crime enforcement tool in order to identify criminal activity and alter even psychological characteristics of their users. In much the same way that professionals use the internet of today for a crime enforcement tool, it's possible that they will also use the blockchain to identify criminal activity. This brings us to our conclusion of our lesson today. If you're interested in reading more about the incoming surveillance of Bitcoin, we encourage you to read our article at diginomics.com slash the incoming surveillance of Bitcoin. That's it for today's lesson. We'll see you in the next one.